Crossroads kids. Great to be back together again. I have missed you. I hope you had a great experience with church on the go. I'd love to hear about your experiences on how you went out into our community to spread Jesus' love. We are continuing to learn about how we can trust God. It started when we learned that we can trust God even when we don't understand. And then we learned that we can trust God because God keeps his promises. Then the last time we were together, we learned that we can trust God because God is in control. And in that story, we learned about Abraham's promised son, Isaac. And Isaac had twin boys named Jacob and Esau. And God made a promise to Rebecca. And Rebecca wanted that promise to come true, but instead of letting God do it God's way, she and Jacob took matters into their own hands they tried to take control. And what was the result of that sin? Chaos and broken relationships. Sin always breaks relationships with each other and with God. And that's exactly what happened to this family. Jacob, in fact, had to flee and leave his family. But God was not done with this family. God was not done keeping his promises to this family and God loves to redeem and God loves to restore and that's what he had next for them so today we are going to learn that we can trust God to help us get along with others and we're going to find out how Jacob and Esau made peace so what I want you to do is get out your Bible remember this is God's truth to us Get out your Bible, and you've got quite a few verses to read. Genesis 32 through 3 through 12, 22 through 32, and Genesis 33, 1 through 11. It's a big story, but it's worth reading. So I want you to hit pause on the video, grab your Bible, read it by yourself, to your brothers and sisters, with your family, or whoever it is that you're enjoying this time with. Then, when you're all done reading God's truth, come back and hit play, and Ray, our Bible money buddy, our Bible buddy, that's hard to say, our Bible buddy Manta Ray has another message for you. We'll see you soon. Hi friends, remember me? I'm Ray and I'm a giant Manta Ray. Some people say we soar through the water like birds soar through the sky. <laughs> Maybe our fins do look a little like wings. What do you think? Do we look alike? Hmm. I guess manta rays and birds have something else in common. We both take baths. Sometimes me and my friends need a bath. Yep, even though we live in the water. So we head down to a deep sea cleaning station. There, special fish take any bugs or germs off of us. Ah, that's much better. Being a manta ray isn't always smooth sailing, but I've learned to go with the flow. Ever wish you were a manta ray? Just gliding through the day? You've probably got some stuff in your life that ties you up in knots. You and your friends might not get along. Those are struggles, things you have to wrestle with inside, things you want to fight or fix by yourselves. But in the Bible book of Psalms, chapter 33, verse 4, it says, For the word of the Lord holds true, and we can trust everything he does. You don't have to fight or fix things for yourselves. You can trust God to help you. In the Bible, a man named Jacob had to face his brother Esau. He expected a fight, but God surprised Jacob. Instead of a fist, Esau forgave Jacob and gave him a hug. We can trust God. He'll help you when friendships don't feel so good. And he can bring good things out of any situation. We can trust God. Almost a surprise ending, isn't it? Jacob wasn't sure if his brother would forgive him or not for tricking him out of his birthright and then stealing his blessing. And yet, 
When Jacob finally met up with Esau, Esau greeted his brother with peace. Their relationship could be restored. There could be forgiveness. That's what happens when we go to God. When we have sinned against God and we have broken that relationship with him, he greets us with love and with forgiveness. So, thank you that we can trust God to help us get along with others. There are lots of people in our lives that can be difficult to get along with, especially our brothers and sisters. I know, I have lots of them. And I have kids that struggle to get along with each other. But we can learn a lot from this story. We can learn how to forgive. We can learn how relationships can be restored. And we can learn how to love each other better. We can learn how to make peace. So work on that this week, guys. Work on making peace with those around you. Work on getting along and asking Jesus to help you. He came to be our best friend. He came to forgive us of our sin that breaks relationship all the time. It's because of Jesus that we can have peace in our relationship with God and our relationship with each other. So think about that this week. And do your best to not sin in your relationships, but when you do, to repent and ask forgiveness from Jesus and from the person that you hurt so that you can get along with others. So have a great week and hopefully we will see you again soon.